Today I'm going to show you how to build a star rating system purely using vanilla JavaScript. We are going to use minimal CSS and mostly vanilla JavaScript to understand vanilla JavaScript better and also because most interviews prefer this as well. This project is the first project from the 8 unique projects to master vanilla JavaScript video I had published recently. Here's the demo of the project. So basically when I hover on any of these stars you can see the color of the stars change. Now if I go back from the star I'm hovering from you can see the color of the star go back to its normal color back again. So whichever star I hover on gets its color changed. Now if I click on any particular star you can see the value of that star display over here. Now if I hover on any of the other stars, you can see those stars still stay hovered. And if I go be behind the third star, you can see the second star stay stays hovered. Wherever the cursor stays, the star on that particular cursor stays colored. So now since I haven't clicked any star, the last click star was number 3. So when I move my cursor away, even though I'm hovering on cursor 1 and I move my cursor away, it's gonna go back to the third star which was clicked last. But when I click on the star 1, it's going to update to 1 and no matter wherever I hover until I don't click and I move my mouse away, it's going to go back to that first star which was last clicked. And if I click on the fifth, it's going to do the same. If I click on the second, it's going to do the same and wherever I hover, it's going to show me the colored star until that particular point of hover. So yeah, this is all about what we are going to build. So let's get, get right on with it. Okay, so before we move on to the coding part, I'm just going to give you a small quick overview of the um, setup of our project. We have an index.html file over here. Index.html just has the uh, this div with, and within that there's two children div. This div has a class of wrapper. This is to center out the entire stars and the value from that star in the middle of the window. And these two divs are nothing but the stars container and this is nothing but the stars value. Um, apart from that, we have a st uh, styles.css. The styles.css only has these, these three uh, stylings. It's pretty minimal and simple. Um, this wrapper is nothing but to center out the entire stars container. And this stars value, dot stars value is nothing but the number of the star you select. Um, and this dot star style will be added when we start coding in, script, in the script.js file. This is nothing but the style of the individual stars. Also, one more thing to note is I have these two SVG files over here. One is the normal star.svg and the other one is the star color.svg. I will put these two SVGs in the description so that you don't have to go through the web to find it out. All right, so now let's move on to the coding part. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to find, we need to assign a selector for the stars container because within the stars container, we are going to add all the five stars. We could go to the index.html and add all those SVG is five times, but it's better to code it out because we want to try everything in the vanilla JS way. So uh, basically within the star containers, we want the five stars. So we need to select this div first. So all I'm going to do first of all is let stars container equals to document dot get element by ID. And I'm going to call stars over here. And after that, since we want the stars five times, we are going to make a loop equals to zero i less than five plus plus and then let's i'm gonna call it star image equals to document dot create element and it's going to be an image element that we create now we need to create this image element because within this image src we are going to add these svg these these star svgs that we have so what what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say star mg dot src equals to the location of that star svg file nothing but star dot svg and then i'm also going to go down and i'm going to add the class name for this class name equals to and this is going to be nothing but the star style that i mentioned before which adds the width height and the uh, padding right and then i'm just going to append all of this within the stars container that we have selected above star image img all right so now let's go on to our browser and check if we got our desired output all right you can see we have the five stars as we loop down and created over here now since we are looping through each and every star we also need to add event listeners to each of those stars so that we can detect the uh, mouse over and mouse leave and click events so let's go ahead and do that star img dot add event listener this one's going to be the mouse um it's going to be the mouse over and then we are going to pass a callback over here 
and it's going to be an on start hover and we are going to pass the i value from over here so that we can when we go to this function we can access that particular star i'm going to do the same for the other events i'm going to go ahead and add on star out and this doesn't need to be a callback you'll see why and over here i'll add the mouse leave uh, event and this will be nothing but the click event and for the click event all we need to do is pass the on star click function and we'll pass the i now before we go ahead and make each of these functions i just want to ensure that i assign a variable to all the stars that we created so basically i'm going to do document query selected all and i'm gonna select the star hyphen style so basically i'm going to basically create a node list this is going to create a node list which is going to add all the uh, stars that we added and we're going to be since we had named the class name as star style i'm going to select that and i'm going to add all those stars within this stars and it's going to give us a node list we are we are doing this so that we can access each of those stars you know we are, we are getting this i value we are going to use stars uh, stars of i to access that particular star whenever we hover or leave or mouse leave on the star so what i mean by that is first of all before we so before i show you what that means i'm going to create uh, the functions in passed in the event listeners all i'm going to do is on star hover and the i argument i'm going to create the other two functions as well this is nothing but the on star out and the on star click this doesn't require a, require an argument and now we are also going to create another function fill and that is going to be passed down in these functions and that is going to the fill is going to basically populate these stars it's going to basically check whether we need to populate these stars with the color or not so all i'm going to do is i'm going to create another function called fill and it's going to be function and within this function arguments i'm going to pass it something called rating value all right so now all we have to do is mm, i'm going to go to the star on star hover this should be star hover and over here i'm going to pass fill of i and i'm going to explain you why and then all we need to do is i'm going to go to my on star click and over here i'm going to first assign add a variable active on top it's going to be nothing but minus one and then i'm going to go down here and i'm going to make active equals to i so basically whenever i click on the star it's going to give me the uh it's going to take that particular star and it's going to store that uh the number of that star from that node list which may uh, suppose if i click the second star it's going to take 0 1 2 and it's going to and then it's going to store 2 in the active variable which and then since this is defined globally we can use it anywhere we want so after this i'm going to just do document dot get element by id and i'm going to access display star value and i'm gonna then i'm gonna do dot inner html equals to i plus one and after that i'm going to call fill and i'm gonna pass active to that uh, function so why i'm doing i plus one over here because if i click on the third star it's basically the i is going to be 0 1 2 it's going to be 2 but we want to display the value as 3 so we can just add plus 1 over here uh, now i'm going to go to the fill function and we are going to start writing the fill function over here mm, before that let's just make sure on start out we also call the fill with the value of active as the argument all right now in the fill function all we need to do is we need to go through each of these stars we need to loop through each of those stars and then we need to check uh, whether or not we need to change the color of the stars or not so all i'm going to do is for let i equals to zero i less than five i plus plus i'm going to do if i less than equals to rating value then all we're going to do is we're going to access stars of i dot src and i'm going to add the um I'm going to add the star colored SVG. Else, sorry, my bad. Else, we are going to select do stars of i dot src equals to nothing but the star dot 
SVG. Also, I realized since we had named this on star hover, I have named it incorrectly over here. This should also be on star star hover. Now, before we check the output, I want to explain you what I did over here basically. So when I start hovering on any star, I get the value of i from here. Um, when I when I'm creating those stars and I pass it down to fill. So when I'm hovering on any star, it go the rating value is nothing but the index I'm hovering on. So what it does is we make a for loop inside this fill and we do i less than equal to the rating val. The rating val when I hover is nothing but the index i. So if I'm hovering on the third star, the index value is going to be 0, 1, 2. The i is going to be 2. So we are going to go over here and it's going to be like is 0 less than equal to 2. Yes, it's less than equal to 2. Then it's going to print the colored one. Then for 1 also, it's going to print the colored one. And for when, when it goes to number 2, number 2 is also equal less than or equal to the rating val which is nothing but 2 while we are hovering on the third star so for those three values it's going to print these the it's going to give us the star color dot svg and then for the remaining ones which is the number three index and the number four index it's gonna give us the star dot svg the normal star dot svg so that's all for star hover it's pretty simple now on star out i'm uh passing this active uh within this fill now active is initially minus one right so whenever i whenever i leave any star this on star out is called because it's attached to this mouse leave uh, event so when i'm hovering on the first star and i leave and i go to the second star this active minus one is going to be the rating val the moment i leave the first star so in that case it's going to make all the stars empty but as soon as i leave the leave any star i also hover on the next star so it's going to happen pretty fast and it's going to call the on start hover again and it's going to be replaced with the colored svgs until the uh, point where i'm hovering the cursor at and uh, the remaining ones are going to be nothing but the regular star and when i click the star uh, consider if i click the third star then this i is going to become nothing but two because th three is the third star is nothing but the second index zero one and two the second index this active is going to have two and then it's going to print out i plus one which is nothing but two plus one three because, I, because we clicked on the third star so in the ui we should show three even though the index is two and then this active is going to be passed over here and that's nothing but um basically two and then we are going to go over here and it's going to be do the same thing it's going to display the colored star until i is nothing but less than equal to the clicked uh, star which, which in this case was having an index of two so it's gonna show the colored star for zero one two if we clicked on the third star and the next two stars are going to be regular stars that's the use of putting active equals to i over here and passing it here like this um so yeah that's all for this i guess we don't need anything um anything more to do over here we could also if we wanted passed i directly over here and got in the same result but this works fine as well um so yeah so let's go out and check the output if what we get works or not i'm going to open the browser and i'm going to refresh it once and when i hover there you go you can see the star gets colored and when i leave all the stars become regular again and if i click on any particular star i get the value three and if i leave it stays colored and if i go back from here you can see it it uh, shows only the stars which are hovered but now since i haven't clicked anyone so if i leave this container it's gonna it's gonna go back to the star which was last clicked see so when i leave the container the star which was last clicked which was number three the star still number three stays clicked all right so now if i click anywhere else it's gonna show five it's gonna show two the hover effects work fine if i leave it works fine if i go back you can see only one is colored right since i haven't clicked if i leave it back only two it's gonna go back to the last click state so yeah this is it this the code works completely fine so this was a pretty simple project and i hope you were able to understand everything that i said if not then please feel free to mention in the comment section yeah so that's that for the video if you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe peace out